what's up guys um i'm pretty sure most of you who are watching this already know who i am but just in case my name is alex um my channel name's unbridled artist because i'm uncreative and this has been something i've used since i was uh, actually be over here wouldn't it yeah um it's something i've used for a long while so i don't know even my league of legends name come on guys um, so this is my first vlog out of many, I hope, about my transition as a female to male transgendered person. Um, Wednesday I start my testosterone, I get my first shot. Um, I have the vial here, cover up the things that are important. Right in this bag. Um, <laughs> I'm actually really excited about it for those of you who actually know who I am. Um, I've been kind of spamming Facebook and uh, that's part of what this vlog is for so that I don't spam Facebook all the time. Um, I'm also going to do a selfie every day once I start my testosterone. Um, this is to progress, show me like a time lapse at the end of the year kind of thing. Maybe in five years from now, I'll just keep going with it. Who knows? Um, but for now, this is um, for me to visually see it and hear it as well. Um, I apologize for my crappy quality for video and audio. Um, the humbings from my computer, which is currently underneath my camera. Um, I want to give a shout out to the friends who I asked about questions from on Facebook. Uh, so Steve and Zal excited about it too and um, wants to be included in this. So if I ever get to see you, Steve, we, you're gonna end up in selfies. I hope you realize this. Um, and Vinka, because she has been very helpful in giving me some questions. Um, my first question from Vinka is, does your ability to self-regulate temperature change? And I honestly don't know how to answer this because it hasn't happened yet. But I will talk to my doctor and ask if it's a thing that happens because I'm pretty sure it might be. Um, in the meantime, I'm gonna attach a link right here for um, the effects of testosterone and what happens when you take it and so on and so forth. Um, there's... Also been in, I've also been informed, use my words, about um, what my process is like, um, how I got my prescription, and so on and so forth. So I talked to my family doctor. Yay, Canada! Free healthcare! <laughs> um, and he got me in touch with a hormone specialist at a hospital in London, Ontario, and he got me hooked up with testosterone. Um, for the rest of my transition, um, I'm going to be going through a place in Toronto whose name I can't exactly remember right now, but I know it's a two-year waiting period for it. They will cover my testosterone, my surgeries that could cost up to $50,000 plus if uh, right out of my pocket if they don't cover it for me. I am on the waiting list. I think I have about a year and a half left. Um, in the meantime, they recommend that people start testosterone and doing a workout, which I recently started and may or may not be regretting. Um, my appointments are pretty straightforward. I'm going to go see my hormone specialist in December. I have another appointment with him and I have blood work that I need to get done. 12 to 13 days after my first shot. Uh, this is just so that my doctors aren't panicking because things aren't going the way they should be. This gives them an idea of if I need more testosterone, if what my dosage is right now is enough, uh, so on and so forth. Um, my family doctor is supposed to give me my shot. Um, it took me a while to actually get my testosterone because I had to go through the FDA, I believe it is. Hang on, I'm gonna grab the sheet of paper. It tells me things. Back. Um, 
EPA, sorry, it's not FDA, it's a EPA, E-A-P, EPA. Um, this lets the government go, oh, hey, this is actually a prescription drug this person needs. So I can go with my OHIP, which is basic standard health care, and they'll cover it for me. It's great. <laughs> I don't have to pay anything. Huzzah. Uh, yeah, and that's about it. So, show you guys the sheet that I got with my testosterone prescription that I went to go today <laughs> to get filled out so that I had the testosterone so my doctor could give me the shot. So this is the sheet. I have it folded back so you can't see more important information. Um, the doctor who's giving me the testosterone is Dr. Stan Venom and he's a pretty cool dude. He gets a lot of uh, transgendered patients. So on this letter it says, Dear Patient, upon review of your chart, I advise you to, slash we have arranged, to do blood work in November, 10 to 12 days after injection. Start taking the following drug, testosterone, every 21 days. A prescription is enclosed. The EPA program has approved your testosterone treatment. Please give the enclosed copy of approval to your pharmacy. I did that today. <laughs> Um, if I have any questions, call my doctor, so on and so forth. And then I have my blood worksheet. I have to go to a lab and get stuck with a needle. Another needle. Lots of needles. But at any rate, that's that fun stuff. Um, yeah. It took me a little bit. Um, I think the proper order of getting my testosterone was... See my family doctor. Family doctor then gives me an appointment to go see Dr. Stan Van Um. I get a letter to go to the diabetes clinic inside the hospital. I'm really confused. And then I remember that I did the thing. And then I have a said appointment with said doctor, Stan Van Um. And then I proceed to get my testosterone prescription after waiting for a few months to get the government to approve of it and go yeah and now I have it and now I'm waiting another couple days so um, if anybody else has any questions about what it's like being transgender what it's like being me what it's like anything ask me I am like the least most offended person on the planet um, I've literally had somebody ask me about sex before, and I wasn't offended, but that's me. So, <laughs> ask questions. I know people have them. I encourage you to ask them. At any rate, I'm gonna go. I have other things to do today, such as clean the house. And I'll talk to you guys later. <laughs>